You guys, welcome to the background life. Oh goodness, smiling just made my lips crack. Okay, chapstick. I finally have a background. Okay, I I just ironed this and it's still beyond wrinkly. Why? Humans aren't supposed to be perfect. Okay, so let's just don't look at the wrinkles. I got the background stand from Amazon. It was around $40 for the actual gray background itself. Um, it's a it's a bed sheet, <laughs> to be honest. I don't wanna buy sheets of paper for a background. I have a bed sheet already, but yeah, I'm just planning on using blankets, bed sheets for the actual background. Why not, you already have it, just utilize it some more. So today I'm just gonna kinda play around with makeup. I've had this look in my head for the longest time probably for over a year and I don't know why I haven't done it yet but today is the day. I have not played enough with my Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. It's a beautiful palette and I'm not sure why. I think it's because the pan size pisses me off. <laughs> like the colors are beautiful but like why are the pan sizes so small? It's the size of my index finger and my index finger is is pretty dainty. I hope the black in this palette is actually pigmented because the look that I'm wanting to create is mostly going to be black. You know, this shade right here is interesting. This is a shimmery white color, but this is like almost a lime green color. I wonder why they decided to make that one of the bigger pan shades. I don't know why, it seems very random to me. I'm just gonna use concealer to prime my eyes today. I am gonna do my eyes first because how many lessons am I gonna have to teach myself about fallout on the face? <laughs> so I need to wash my brushes and I haven't, but I need to use some of these brushes. So I've been using these reusable makeup towels. My brother got these for me for Christmas and I just started using them because I'm wanting to start to use reusable products. Samantha, I can't say her last name. Samantha Rondal, Ravendal. She's a beauty YouTuber that I love to watch. I love her personality, her sarcasm reaches my soul. She gave out tips about how to how to reduce waste in your life um, using makeup products. And so she gave a tip that Amazon sell these reusable cotton pads. I had no idea they had products like that. And so I really wanna get those because I use so many cotton pads to for like my cellar waters, toners. I, I use so many of them throughout the day. That's why I've started to use these makeup towels. All you have to do is wet them and they take off your makeup. I've been just wetting this towel or putting the micellar on this towel and wiping away my makeup and it comes off beautifully. So I did wet it. Um, I do have makeup on this brush and I need to use this brush. So I'm just gonna so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this towel. Somewhat clean, I need to do a deep clean. This is just gonna help for the time being. I'm pretty sure you can get these on Amazon as well. Okay, so I'm taking that angle definer brush that we just cleaned off and I'm going to dabble into this black. I'm making a crease shape on my eye. Nope gonna take my towel here I do not like this how this is already turning out so erase start over I want to make sure I put my mistakes in my videos as well because everybody messes up I am using the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof eyeliner I am going to create my crease shape with this this is what I should have done in the first place oh, this is so precise it blows my mind every single time I use it Look how precise that is. Holy crap, holy. I'm thickening up that shape now. My little stubby. Fill in this even more. Hopefully this is as black as the liquid liner and it's not. It's not as black as the liquid liner so I am just actually gonna fill in that whole area with the liquid liner. Okay, now I'm gonna take some of that black shadow on a packer brush and pack this over the black liner. I'm gonna 
gonna take this pink shade and pack this right in this blank space. I wish there was a titch more pigment. Pigment. There we go, I just wet my brush a little bit. Even if the shadow isn't a shimmer, it's a matte, I still wet my brush if I want that matte to show up even more. Going back in with that eyeliner to kind of sharpen up this part. Oh yeah! Yeah, I wiped off some of that black. Of course, the brush is still stained, but I swatched it off onto that towel. I'm telling you, that towel is so dang handy. I'm taking some NYX Glitter Glue with their Glitter Brilliance. This is just the gold shade. I'm going to pack this right in the middle of where the black and the pink shades meet. I think it's gonna look real nice. That was probably way too much. I'm pouring some of that glitter into the cap. It almost looks, oh my gosh, glitter everywhere. Really wanted more chunky glitter, but you know, I have what I have. Just trying to spread this out more, because I don't want it just to be glitter in that one spot. I want to try to, what's converse, not converse, spread out. What's the, condense? I'm actually liking my left eye more than my right i think it dispersed that is the word i was trying to say dispersed man makeup is really like drawing to me like you have a vision of what it looks like in your head and you're like yeah i can totally actually do that and then you do it and it's a variation of what you thought you could do it's 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 quite a humbling experience taking the eyeliner again I'm just drawing a line across my lash line. Taking a black coal liner. I'm gonna take a risk here and use my Essence I Love Extreme Curl and Volume Mascara. In my new makeup video, I'll link it right here. I mentioned how this formula is a little bit thinner than the original. I have to be very, very careful and just not to get this on my eyelid. When I know I'm gonna wear falsies, I don't apply that much mascara. I mostly just apply it so that the falsies and my natural lashes blend in together. I will be using my House of Lashes Spellbound lashes. These are just very fun and wispy. I do have to say though, the Iconic or Iconic Light lashes are my favorite. I only have one. I bought a whole pack. And now I only have one. <laughs> Moving on to the face, I'm gonna be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer today. I don't think I've used this on camera yet. I'm not sure. I just take one pump of this. I'm gonna let that dry. And as you can see, it's ridiculously sticky now. I'm gonna go ahead and spot conceal. I'm gonna mix two face products today, my Essence Fresh and Fit foundation with my e.l.f. BB cream. So I'm gonna pump some of this on a flat foundation brush. I'm not trying to do a really full face. I'm gonna just pop this in the center of my face since it is the lighter shade of foundation. I'm gonna take some of that e.l.f., just a titch. And put this down here. I'm taking my Morphe M439 foundation brush. I'm going to pat this into my skin. So let's talk about new products that are coming out, especially with Pride Month. So many colorful products are coming out and it's, it's exciting me so much. I've really been using less foundation and I'm really liking it because one, it shows my freckles more and I really like my freckles. It just looks more natural and less caked on. I'm first going to blend this in with a actual concealer brush just because it's smaller so I can get more precise with my with these hard little angles. Oh, okay, Huda Beauty. 
I, one, I really don't know if I want to support her brand. I really don't know if she is cruelty free or not. I think she claims to be, but then I look at some of her products and like some of her lashes are mink, like full mink lashes. So I don't know, but I saw that she came out with her new neon obsession palette. Oh my gosh, like neon is such a trend right now. They're so pretty, especially for summertime. I'm so glad it's a trend. Neons are so cool. Makeup Obsessions is a new cruelty-free brand that is now sold at Target, and so I'm so excited to try to go there and see what their products are like. This is harsh judgment on my part because I haven't even personally tried any of the products, but just seeing some of the videos I've seen, it doesn't look like super high quality products, but I still want to try their brand nonetheless. Part of Pride Month with brands coming out with new things, Morphe has their new Live in Color palette and their brushes. Their brushes look so pretty. I would be definitely interested in getting those brushes. And NYX has some new color pigments and soft matte creams, which I love. And they have this like seafoam green one, which that is my favorite color. And it just go back in with my foundation brush and kind of pat over where the foundation and concealer meet so that I can just blend this out even more. I'm taking my Milk Makeup Cream Matte Bronzer and take that on my foundation brush. I'm first gonna pat it on and then blend it out. Juvia's Place new foundation and concealer is now at Ulta, which is so exciting. So now you can go in stores, swatch them. Tarte has a new tanning, I think it's a tanning mousse. That seems really interesting and I would like to try it. Urban Decay has a new naked foundation that looks super luxurious. Like I love the packaging. I am a complete sucker for packaging. Like even if I know that the product isn't the best but it has bomb packaging, like in my mind I'm like, oh, I wanna try it. <laughs> And since it is summertime, so happy that more and more brands are coming out with cream products, cream highlighters, blushes, and bronzers, because I love creams so much more than powders. I think they look just so much more natural on the skin. I definitely want to try Anastasia's Liquid Glow Highlighters. They look flawless. Like, Anyone who uses them say they're amazing. It doesn't, like, it looks so, like, a natural highlight like there's no grittiness shimmery chunks of glitter so i i definitely want to try that ColourPop has some new cream and blushes and highlighters and it's cool because they have like a three like a three pack two blushes and a highlight they have a duo that has a blush and a highlight and then of course they sell all of them separately i'm not going to bake my face today i just want to set under my eyes to prevent creasing but i want to keep this kind of sheen we have going on I'm just using my Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Powder. Using my Butter Blush in Natural Glow, I love this blush. It just has like the most natural sheen to it, which I love a sheen in a blush. This blush is just so easy to use. I love it, I love it. I'm gonna take the Shader Packer Brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to drop some Cover Effects Custom Enhanced Drops. This is in their lightest shade, Moonlight. It's just a little sample. Dabble this here. I'm gonna take this to blend. <gasps> Holy crap. Wow! Look at my little nose! Rudolph! Wow. Before this dries down, too much. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and kind of blend and kind of like settle it down. I'm just gonna take beep, a little itty bitty bit. I'm gonna put that underneath my brows, which reminds me I need to do my brows. Okay, brows are done. I'm gonna take that black shade on a flat definer brush. I'm really surprised how good this black is in the palette because honestly in the palette I wasn't expecting much of it. Should we do something fun like right here? I want to. Let's do it. I've never done this before so I want to try. Why not? I'm going to take that Too Faced liner again and I'm going to just kind of like draw a line. Yeah. That's really cool. I think that just made this look that much more interesting. 
All right, mascara on the lower lash line. I have no idea where, oh, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. It's by Wet n Wild and I no longer support them. I was going to say my skinny mascara. I don't know where it's at, where it's at, but now I don't care. <laughs> what lip would look good with this? I almost think a bright pink, but I'd have to customize it because I don't have a bright pink like this i'd have to customize it which is fine but do we want that bright of a pink on our lips I always gravitate towards this but once you put it on it shears out a lot so it's not as opaque unless we just totally line our lips i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna line my lips with an essence lip liner and wish me a rose probably not even dark enough but i honestly don't have that many lip liners because i don't i don't really like it so i don't know what to tell you Let's see what this looks like if we don't like it we can take it off so this is the NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Tokyo see it's like too baby okay so let's put a layer on um, and then put some of this eyeshadow shade on top and layer some of this back on I'm gonna take this pink shade again we're gonna put this on our lips I'm gonna put this on the outside of my lips Oh yeah. I love customizing lip shades. It's so much fun. You can really create any lip shade ever. If you have the eyeshadow color, you can create it. That saves so much money too, if you think about it. If you have a gloss, if you have eyeshadow, you're good. All right, that's super cute. I'm gonna just layer on a little bit of gloss back over the top. First in the middle because I want that ombre lip effect. Okay, strap, let's cooperate. Thank you. Okay, yeah, that's beautiful. I love it. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, guys, here is the finished look. I really just wanted to sit down and play with makeup and I wanted to create a look that's been in my head for a while. This is how it came out. I still definitely like how the left eye came out more than the right. The right is just, the glitter is just still too compact. I wanted it more dispersed, but you know, it is what it is. The customized lip shade, I think it's perfect because it literally is the same eyeshadow. So it automatically complements the look. This look really just came together and I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.